Good morning, friends. Hi, everyone. Let's get today's circle time going with Hello Neighbor. Go grab a family member or a stuffy. I'm going to grab Mr. Lambert. We're going to do it together. Are you ready? Here we go. Hello, neighbor. What do you say? It's going to be a happy day. So greet your neighbor and boogie on down. Give them a bump and then sit down. Have a good day, guys. All right, friends, I'm gonna get my rocking chair and then we're gonna start our circle time. Okay, friends, we're gonna start today's circle time with a very special birthday wish to Augie. Tomorrow is Augie's birthday, and even though we can't be with him to celebrate, we sure can sing a song and make him feel all the love we have for him in his heart. So are you ready to sing happy birthday with me? All right, here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Augie, tomorrow. Happy birthday to you. Augie, we hope you have a wonderful day at home tomorrow. We sure miss you, but we know that you're gonna have a lot of fun at home. Okay, friends, something really exciting happened in our house this past weekend. Lots of you knew, back in February I told you, that Mr. Lambert and I were getting a dog, and she's finally arrived. She's finally old enough to be away from her mom and start her new life in our house, and I'm gonna introduce you to her right now. Come here, puppy. Friends, this is our new puppy. Her name is Poppy. So lots of you know that our cat's name is Canuck, and this is our little puppy named Poppy. Oh! <laughs> she is the sweetest little girl, aren't ya? She is learning so many new things. She is learning to eat out of her food dish. She loves playing. She had her first bath with us and she's learning to come when we call her name. She doesn't really know her name is Poppy yet. So she's just learning that. So we say her name a lot. Oh, there's a big yawn for you guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Poppy. Yeah. So friends, she is a lot of fun. I know she's a little hard to see because she's all black, but she has the sweetest little eyes. Let me see if I can get her closer for you. Isn't she just so sweet? <laughs> Okay, so tomorrow I thought we could celebrate Poppy's arrival with a special day called Pet Day. If you have a pet at home, we are going to celebrate our pets. And if you don't have a pet at home, that's okay too. Some of the activities that I put on our activity page for tomorrow, you just do with no pet or one of the activities is you're gonna get to make your own pet. So if you have a pet, we're gonna celebrate them tomorrow. If you don't have a pet, you can make a pet and that'll be explained tomorrow or you could use your stuffy. I know our friend Ian has his favorite Georgie that he loves and Georgie's a stuffy dog and so he's probably gonna use Georgie tomorrow, which would be great. Okay, hurry Poppy. That's gonna be fun, isn't it? Yeah. So friends, Poppy's name starts with the letter P, 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 Poppy. She actually has three P's in her name. So I was wondering if you could think of some words that start with a P sound. Hmm, let's see if I can think of some. How about pizza and pajamas? You could walk around your house and see what things you have that start with a P. To make it a little bit trickier, you could think of some words that end with a P sound, with a P, 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 like stop or wasp. Those end with a P sound, okay? So we'll do that to help celebrate that Poppy's here and she's arrived safely. All right, to help celebrate that Poppy has arrived in our house, I thought we could sing a song called Bingo. You probably know this song. What we're gonna do is we're gonna spell out the word bingo and then every time we re-sing it, we're gonna clap for one of the letters in his name. Okay, are you ready? Sing it with me. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. O B I N G O B I N G O B I N G O and bingo was his name. O. Okay, now this time we're gonna clap for the B. So don't say it, just clap it. Here we go. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. O. 
I-N-G-O, 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 and bingo was his name Oh, Okay, this time we're going to clap for the B and the I. Here we go. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name Oh, N-G-O, 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 and bingo was his name Oh. Okay, this time we're going to clap for the B, the I, and the N. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name Oh, G-O, 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 and bingo was his name Oh, Friends, when we did that verse, I just noticed there was a popcorn word. G-O spells the popcorn word go. So you just spelled go. Good job. Okay, this time we're going to clap for B-I-N-G. Here we go. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, 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 and bingo was his name. Oh, all right, this last verse, we're going to clap for all the letters of bingo's name. You ready? There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, And bingo was his name. Oh, good job. Great singing. So I was trying to decide what book we could read today for our circle time. There's so many books out there that have great animals or pets as the characters. But I was thinking we have some classics in our classroom that we really enjoy reading. So I thought we could read a Clifford book. Poppy looks a lot different than Clifford. Clifford is the big red dog and Poppy's just a little black dog right now. But she's a sweet little puppy and we know that Clifford is a great little puppy to Emily Elizabeth. So you ready to read this one with me? It's called Clifford's Family. I'm Emily Elizabeth and this is my dog. His name is Clifford. We live in a small town now, but we were both born in the city. One day, we went back to visit our old home in the city. Clifford hadn't seen his mother since he was a tiny puppy. She hardly knew him. She still treated him like a puppy. She checked his teeth and she looked at his ears to see if he had been washing them. The man told us where Clifford's brothers and sisters lived, so we went to find them. Clifford's sister Claudia lived nearby. She was taking her owner for a walk. That's a smart dog, friends. That's called a seen eye dog. So you can see that her owner can't see. She's blind. And so blind people often use a seen eye dog to help them get around. Those kinds of dogs are very, very helpful. We went to the park with them. A taxi was blocking the crosswalk. Clifford took care of that. Oh my goodness, look what he did. He lifted that taxi right off the ground. That's funny. Next, we found his brother Nero. Nero was a rescue dog at a fire station. While we were there, the alarm rang. We followed the fire truck. Nero rushed into the building. Oh, what a brave dog Nero is. Clifford helped him. Nero was very brave. Then we set off to the country. Clifford's other sister, Bonnie, was a farm dog. One of Bonnie's jobs was to herd the sheep into their pen. Wow, Clifford's brothers and sisters are very helpful doggies, aren't they? Clifford wanted to do some farm work too. He started to drive the cows towards the barn, but one of the cows was a bull, and bulls don't like the color red. Look at that bull. You can tell that he's not very happy. I think he's in the red zone, friends. Clifford wasn't scared. He was smart. He didn't want to hurt the bull, so he jumped out of the way. And when Clifford jumps, he really jumps. 
we had one more place to visit. It was Clifford's father's home in a town nearby. The house was small and there was a lot of kids playing in the yard. Clifford's father didn't have a collar or a dog dish or a dog house, but he still seemed very happy. I guess it was the kids. He sure loved kids. He was a lot like Clifford, just a little smaller. Clifford wished his family could come and live with us, but they all had people who needed them. Just as I need Clifford, the best dog of all. Here we go. I think Poppy's probably missing some of her brothers and sisters and her mom and her dad right now too, but I know she's really happy with Mr. Lambert and I. She's had a great few days with us and she's a really happy and friendly dog. She's right here below me here. I'm gonna pick her up right now. She just had a little drink. Poppy, can you say bye to everyone? Say see you next time. Bye friends.